Fanelo Mabale thought he was merely keeping himself busy by playing football. But the 11-year-old quickly impressed his school with his abilities. He later became captain. In August, the boy from Fos Luras found himself at Manchester United's Old Trafford, walking side by side with England's captain, Wayne Rooney. This is how it happened. When Mfanelo Mabali's parents separated in 2009, he relocated from Gatlehong to Fosloras to live with his grandmother. It was tough for him, he was still a baby, but uh, at that moment I thought it was best for him to stay here because he was, he was still at school. I didn't want to confuse him and stuff. A typical six-year-old, Mfanelo needed something fun in his new surroundings. I think he also turned to football because of that, you know, uh, just to brush off the loneliness. Fortunately, Mfanelo wasn't the only football fan in his family. My grandfather used to love Sundowns, my little Sundowns. And every time my little Sundowns played, we used to go matches. Yeah. Then we used to play on the pitch, running around with the ball, passing around. His late grandfather was the first to discover his potential. Under his guidance, the boy was chosen to play for his school team and later Boxburg Football Club. I would get calls, Mommy, I need soccer boots, I need this, we're going away to wherever, you know, playing. Yeah, that's when I started seeing that, okay, this is serious now. Despite economic hardships and occasional unemployment, Mfanelo's mother showed unwavering support for her son. Whenever we go shopping, food, a, a, a ball has to be in our shopping basket. At the time, English football giants Manchester United and vehicle manufacturer Chevrolet were starting a campaign called Power of Play. It was aimed at using sport to uplift poor communities around the world. Fosloras was already on their radar. We bring between 10 and 12 schools together. So we go in there, we create the football league and we give the kids uh, a reason to play, including trophies and all the discipline that you would associate with the league. As part of the campaign, Manchester United wanted to give youngsters the chance to walk in the shoes of their favorite players. Local NGO Dream Fields partnered with schools in Fos Luras to help search for the right candidate. Around 800 children from 19 schools were reached. They were looking for a youngster who's courageous and who's outgoing and very comfortable in front of the camera. Mfanelo Mabale was one of the kids interviewed. Every day I used to practice that interview. I was very nervous because that was my first time being interviewed in my life. After a three-month-long deliberation, the selectors made up their minds. 11-year-old Mfanelo was a perfect candidate. His football talent, as well as his charismatic personality, secured him a place. What impressed us about him was his stature. He's a, he's a short kid, even by other kids his age uh, standards. But his dynamism, it's almost like he's had to prove himself his whole life. In mid-August, Mfanelo and his grandmother left Johannesburg for Manchester. And on the 17th of that month, the boy from Fosloras stepped into a cathedral of world football. With his grandmother watching in a crowd of 75,000 people, he was now living a dream he never imagined would come so soon. It was so much exciting. I was actually emotional when I saw, I saw him holding hands with Rooney. 
During the trip, Mfanelo also trained with Manchester United coaches and exchanged passes with some of his favorite players. Fascinating stuff. Hopefully, Mfanelo will go back to Manchester on a permanent basis. Well, that's it for now. Join us again next time as we explore the lives of those who dare to dream. The people who are committed to making South Africa a country of possibilities. My name is Mpola Gaji. Cheers. <laughs>